such a great deal for the city of Amarillo, and we're so grateful that the Elmo group here, and uh, we couldn't have picked a, we could have gotten into a better situation with anybody in my league baseball than the Elmo group. So this is going to be really good for us going forward in the future. So this is an exciting time for us all. Uh, everyone's a big fan of Eric Cochran. And we have a special uh, player here from the Padres of 
well. I'm going to let Sam talk a little bit more about that. But Brad, we have another future, uh, another major league star that we need to watch on a regular basis. Uh, finally, we have a lot of uh, history that I, I think one aspect of partnering with the Padres that was so exciting for us is the, the history that we already have with the Padres. It's something that we get to build on every year now for the future. Uh, Amarillo as a Gold Sox, if you remember, became the Padres' second ever double-A affiliate spanning seven seasons from 1976 to 1982. Won the Texas League title in their first season. Amarillo won their first title with the Padres in their first season in 1976, uh, and that doesn't mean we have any pressure uh, here in the <laughs> first season. Yes, we do. Uh, but uh, they won a Texas League title in their first season with Padres in 1976, and that team included notables such as Mark Thurman, Andy Hawkins, Dave Rebecca, and the legendary Hall of Famer Tony Webb. Uh, the Padres also spent 12 years in San Antonio. For, I was just getting asked that question when we came in. The, this franchise is actually moving from San Antonio to Amarillo, so they spent the last 12 years in San Antonio. They won three Texas League titles in that period, which is pretty darn amazing. Uh, in that time, they also, the first year they had played with San Antonio, 2007, they also won a Texas League title. So again, no pressure. <laughs> yes, there it is. Uh, they also won in 2011 and 2013. Uh, last year, the club that's moving from San Antonio to Amarillo finished second in the Texas League uh, before bowing out in the championship game, which was pretty cool. That's the kind of talent we can expect to see here in, uh, in Amarillo. And here's a, this is an incredible note. I, I need to be able to phrase it correctly, but uh, the last time, in the first ever Padres game as an organization they, that, that the Padres played at home in San Diego was on April 8, 1969. That's 50 years to the day, or if you're counting, 18,262 days later when Amarillo opens up on April 8, 2019. It'll be 50 years today on our opening day in 2019. business people. 
people from all over the city of Amarillo that made this possible. And so I just want to thank everybody for uh, being part of that, for making this something that's happening today, where we get to announce a major league club bringing its double A affiliate here to uh, Amarillo. And so we've worked with the Pod Race, as Tony said, for a lot of years, and they are a dynamite organization, first class all the way. And I think that's what this city needs, is first class operations. We're building an amazing ballpark out there, and there are people that are every day out there working on that, making sure that it's on time and under budget. And it is going really, really well. It is so impressive. I know you all get to drive by on a regular basis. I don't get here quite as often, but when I was driving in today, just seeing the steel structure that's going up, the concrete laid right out there, it's going to be one of the best ballparks in AA. And it'll rival any ballpark in the country, and it's right here in Amarillo. And we are so grateful to have the opportunity to bring one of our ball clubs to a city like this. You know, the community is what makes this happen. I was talking earlier today to some folks, and you know, it's, it's the fans, it's sponsors, it's the city people, it's everybody coming together at one time to make something like this happen. And so, while we have a team, you all have a lot of work to do in order for us to be able to bring that team here. It has been a pleasure working with everybody in this city. I, 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 as Tony said, we work in a lot of cities. We have seven minor league ball clubs. This city is amazing. It is fantastic to work with the people here. We're blessed to have this opportunity, and we're thankful for uh, the chance to be here now.
And I can tell you, I can promise you, from the Sam to Todd to our front office for ownership, that our players, the front office staff, and ownership will do everything they can to make sure that, that the fans and the community here in Emory will enjoy themselves and kind of watch the ball for the time. On behalf of Ron Fowler, our ownership group, Peter Slavery, Tom Slavery, and our GM, AJ Pro, I want to thank the city of Emory and the community for having us here. We look forward to being back here every day. very clear that this has been a tremendously successful team 
the ballpark, and um, it's honestly the, the thing that really kind of resonates um, with me is that we've seen some of our you know newer affiliates, our affiliate El Paso, is several years old, and the Fort Wayne Indiana team, and Wesley, um, they have you know what that ballpark did for the community and what is afforded us as an organization tremendous places to develop and <clears throat> let our players spend their their minor league seasons. And I thought a little about the very kind words that someone said about where the Potter organization is right now. We're very excited. You guys are gonna get a chance to see players that um, our scouting staff, our baseball operations staff has literally traveled all over the world trying to find the best young amateur players and sign them as professional players. And they're gonna come right through here in Texas League and Amarillo on their way to the major leagues, much like Brad did. Brad worked through our system through Fort Wayne, Lake Elsinore, San Antonio, El Paso, before we're finally making this debut in the major leagues this year. You guys are gonna get your fans and this community is gonna get to be part of that as we hopefully deliver the first championship, World Series championship to the city of San Diego. Um, but thinking back to some of these cities, you know, whether it's El Paso or Fort Wayne, now Amarillo and see where the city is um, in terms of in terms of growth, in terms of you know kind of sitting on something that has a chance to really grow and prosper over the coming years and decades. Um, I can't help but hope there's a lot of parallels between where we the Padres organization is right now and where the city of Amarillo is right now. And I think we have a really cool opportunity to, to grow together and to look up several years from now and hopefully a couple of Texas League championships later and uh, and see that you know we kind of got started on this path and this road to success together. So very, very happy to be here um, on behalf of the Padres and minor league department specifically and uh, turn it back over to Tony. Thank you. Thank you. 
for being here today, as well as uh, San Diego Padres executives, Fred Oman Jr., Sam Gaines, Todd Stevenson, Brad Rick, thank you for being here today, as well as uh, city representative Michelle Palmer, uh, Palmer, sorry, and Dr. Jay Sauer. Thank you for all being here today. Uh, we'd also like to recognize the hard work and wonderful staff here at the NC Suites for uh, making this event possible today. Uh, beautiful area, and thank you again to all the staff here involved with the NC Suites. Um, so at this time, I'd like to close this press conference. Uh, for interviews, we're going to be bringing over here to the right and left one on once, uh, and then uh, just momentarily after that, we'll have the uh, raffle for both the sign baseball as well as the sign contest. Thank you for your support. Thank you again for everybody for coming out here. Have a great rest of your afternoon. <laughs>